Hey, you cats, what's good? Uh, I hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, we're going to catch up on a little bit of news here. Strap in. Should be some good ones. I hope you enjoy. You know the deal. You want to hear? Here you go. She's steady asking me if my soul is safe. Yeah, it's in the deep freezer. It's going to stay that way. Good Saturday to you, savages. Welcome in. Thanks for coming as always. Uh, we're going to do a few topics here. We'll start off the old bed riddens with biddens news, right? So uh, it's been a rough uh, about about week and a half for this guy. Um, of course, you know, we all got to watch him come out and get laughed at at his second State of the Union. My many of, Some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. Not <laughs> right? You love to see a bullshitter get called out on some bullshit, right? But uh, before that, you know, before the State of the Union, he came out to encourage Americans to, uh, you know, not to drive and to work remotely, to fight climate changes, right? But um, in reality, it's because he's lowered production um, and, uh, you know, has continued to export oh, to the old Ukraines, depleted our reserves, and doesn't didn't want you to see the actual price of fuel so he could claim in the State of the Union, I lowered gas. Gas prices after hiring them, you know, 150%, right? Um, absolute ridiculousness as usual. Uh, <laughs> moving on, the next one here, the uh, 87,000 new hires at the IRS and uh, new tax regulations that you were told were only going to affect those that make over $400,000 a year and already came for your cash app transactions over $600. Now they're coming for your tips, right? You stupid, broke sons of bitches, <laughs> right? Food again. Good job, guys. I keep voting leftists. But, uh, yeah, so they're going to come after your shit. And uh, then, as it comes out after that, um, the uh, on top of the shit we know with big tech, uh, the Twitter files and whatnot, how the Biden admin and, you know, Jen Psaki's own words, of course, uh, how the Biden admin uh, played into the whole let's censor conservatives bit. Well, it's also come to light that they directly funded a... a, a Mis uh, missing disinformation fact checking fucking engine that uh you know got got uh conservative media out you know blacklisted and through uh different outlets and this comes on the heels of newsmax of course being recently removed from uh, uh dish tv across the country um ditch at&t i guess right but, uh, you know, just one more uh, step in the whole, you know, push for complete censorship and control of information. Um, but, uh, of course, it's going to backfire because, uh, you know, parties don't stay in power forever, regardless, you know what I mean, of the situation. But uh, moving on. Um, this one's a little bit longer. I normally don't like to play clips this long, but you have got to see the shit. It's Matt Walsh absolutely killing some Democrats. Uh, you, if you've seen it, stick around, all right? I mean, skip through it or whatever, because we got a lot more to cover. But uh, you're absolutely going to love this. So, um, again, this is Matt Walsh, Demon Slayer. Can you give us a summary of your educational background or your healthcare education experience? Mr. Walsh, you're recognized. My experience in healthcare? Your educational background. I'm just curious. You, 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 you've yeah. testified as to a lot of your own research. So I'm curious for what purpose you do that and what background you have to qualify you to speak to that. Well, my Mr. background Walsh. that qualifies me to speak to this is that I'm a human being with a brain and common sense and I have a soul. And so, therefore, I think it's a really bad idea to chemically castrate children. That is my experience. Um, also, I, I did, now it's true, I didn't, I didn't go to college, but I did go to school long enough to learn how to read so I can read the data for myself, and that's exactly what I've done. 
Uh, Representative Clemens, here I And for what purpose do you um, conduct your research and use this brain of yours? Mr. Walsh, you're recognized. I use it for the purpose of trying to protect children from being castrated and mutilated. That's one of the things I try to do. You don't use it Clemens. to... Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You don't use it to get clicks on your Let's state publication? That. Well, are you using it right now to try to get clicks with this interaction? On, no. I, 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 I really like the Mr. idea Walsh. of getting, uh, of, of drawing attention to the fact that this is happening to children. I know you seem to find it very amusing. I don't. Um, I found it, uh, thank you, Mr. Walsh. I found it interesting. One of our uh, um, people uh, testified today that they uh, had their gender affirming surgery at 16. And I know uh, you in former comments mentioned uh, this uh, on your blog. At about 16, you're an adult who is mature and can make decisions. Uh, you're that at 16. I don't care what anybody says. Even going so far as to say, you know, 16 people. Uh, when you're 16, you should be married and uh, and could be pregnant or should be pregnant. Um, so I'm curious if 16 is uh, a uh, an adult in your view. Uh, why does this bill have uh, the uh, minor de defined as 18? Uh, Mr. Yeah, well, that's, Walsh, uh, recognized. Yeah, that's that's a hit piece you took from Media Matters, uh, from something when I was a, a radio host. Uh, 13, 14 years ago, in my early 20s. Uh, it's also not an accurate reflection of what I actually said. Um, I was talking about uh, the fact that people tended to marry young historically, and that's all that that was about. Um, how does that relate to, the, to this subject? Just curious of your definition of, of if you feel like people are adults at 16, should. Well, uh, people are adults is... at 18. Uh, but actually, your, your brain is not fully developed until you're 25. So we should be having a conversation about whether we should even be doing these surgeries to people at 18. But certainly before 18, it's, it's absurd. I mean, do, do, you, do you think that a 16-year-old can meaningfully consent to having their body parts removed? Do, do you? No? We do not. Yeah, we ask the questions. It's not. It's. Uh, okay. Representative Hammer, you are recognized. No. <laughs> right. Complete murder. Shut him down to the point where uh, uh, we ask the questions. I don't even have much to say on that beyond uh, the obvious. All right. Straight murderer, man. Again, demon slayer, lizard killer, whatever you want to refer to the man as. You got a little taste of it there. All right. Um, but uh, moving on here again, so, um, you know, playing right into, uh, 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 from a segment ago here, um, the Biden's uh, censorship program, right? The uh, World Health Organization unveils their plan to censor myths and disinformation online. And um, if you've been paying attention to my shit at all, I recently did a video where I covered how um, the uh, World Economic Forum, that was their topic of discussion for this year, and how they're absolutely pushing for global censorship. And um, of course, it's always about safties and hate speeches and whatnot. Um, but, uh, you know, this, of course, is for public safety, right? Uh, they, you know, again, are going to stop at nothing until they control uh, uh, narratives and uh, public opinion um, through falsified media. All right. Um, since Obama, with uh, the stroke of a pen, and um, I believe it was either the 2011 or 2012 bill, um, basically made it okay for American media to be used for propaganda purposes, and not that it wasn't taking place before or uh, in other places around the globe, but it seems that it's been kicked into hyperdrive since, as if a lot of places took some lessons, <laughs> right? Um, but... Uh, so and then going along right with that here recently in that same video, I showed you how uh, the donkey Clintons, right, got horrid ass sea hags, uh, recently came out and were pushing for that sense of the power for that censorship before the World Health Organization actually rolled out their plan, right? And um, again, going right along with that, you know, as you can see here, you know, the, the, the bottom one, uh, you know, Killary comes out with, uh, you know, reigniting the whole Clinton Foundation flame here, the global initiative now, right? They're not hiding the fact. 
And uh, anything they're involved in should make your skin crawl. Here's a short clip just to give you a little glimpse of what we're looking at. All right. <laughs> so today I am proud to announce that the Clinton Global Initiative, started by my husband, will work closely with SEWA and with our partners, the American India Foundation, the Adrian Arsh Rockefeller Re Foundation Resilience Center, the Desai Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Council for Inclusive Capitalism, and the Algorand Foundation to launch a $50 million Global Climate Resilient Fund. I also want to connect you with global uh, carbon markets so that you can... She Right? But anyway, if you didn't pick up, um, I had to chop it up there. I didn't want to put you through another long ass one, especially with that toad. But um, they are putting together with a whole lot of names she dropped there a, a $50 million starter digital currency uh, fund for uh, going to be rolled out in India. Basically, so anytime you hear a Clinton name with a third world, obviously it's a grift. It's to come up on the old fucking global foundation, right? But. Uh, you know, to roll out to help, you know, climate change and support equality, all right? And um, some of the names you saw there, of course, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Council for Inclusive Capital, right, amongst those. And uh, guess who is the head of that? Uh, Lynn Rothschild. I know that name rings about. That's the conspiracy third, right? And um, it, 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 these places are also funded by uh, BlackRock and Vanguard, right? The vast majority of the names that were involved in this. Um, and we know that they're all about uh, pushing, you know, quality through, uh, you know, destroying your company. You have to have so many Blixes females on there. Your uh, carbon footprint has to meet a certain level. The old ESG score, basically. And, um, you know... <laughs> The, the, this is some serious evil entities. The people that are actually pulling the strings around the planet are right here for you. All right. Moving on. Second Republican uh, a sitting councilman in uh, New Jersey murdered in less than a week. Again, I made a video about the first one. Uh, Eunice Dwumfor, uh, a, a young African-American uh, first term councilwoman that was murdered outside of her home. Uh, assailant hasn't been caught, multiple gunshot wounds, yada yada, and you didn't hear about it, I'm sure, because it doesn't fit the narrative of the white supremacies, and we gotta take the AR-15s, right? No BLM, I mentioned in that video, but this one, of course, uh, you know, a white man, a white Republican, middle-aged, uh, murdered and uh, murdered by you know a black guy and again so it doesn't fit the narrative so you're not hearing shit about it again they can't blame white supremesies there's no grift and no money to be made okay and that that's exactly what this is an example of okay okay and uh, moving on after that um, an anti-police activist, Jennifer Angel, all right, from California there, recently murdered in Oakland outside of her bank, all right, uh, she was in her car, a car, she was outside of the car, basically, but, you know, next to it, in one of those stand-up ATM situations, a guy pulled up to pin her in, uh, pinned her between the vehicles, actually, and uh, eventually drug her more than 50 feet where uh, she sustained some serious closed head injuries, had some swelling of the brain, and unfortunately passed away, right? No matter who it is, you hate to see this kind of stuff. But uh, it's become definitely commonplace in everywhere. This is Democrat ran. But to show you that leftism is a mental disorder, again, she was an anti-police activist. Her family has came out and said that they would like the assailant freed to honor their daughter's Woke mental disorder. What the fuck is wrong with these people, man? You know what I mean? Like, dude, if you touch one of my children, I'm going to want to go to jail over it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, but again, this was your week in uh, absolute ridiculousness and havoc. Clown world. Fuck, volume 7,000 or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, you guys know the deal. Debate with me in the comments. Argue. Tell me to fuck off. Like, share, subscribe. Smell you later. We're not against the Republicans. 
We're not against the Republicrats. We are, we are against those MAGA thugs. 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 Thugs.